Okay. So, we're here. We're live with Paper Mario. Chapter 7. It's chapter something. On Cha the moon! Moon raid. And Jack's playing. Am I? For now. I gotta eat. Fuck, you tricked me. I just wanted to chill and watch you play Paper Mario and you ruined it. Okay, yeah, you can after I eat. Yeah. It was Spirit Week for the school bus drivers this week. This one, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and you dressed up as... Yeah, it was movie character dress up day, so I was the Phantom. Yep. Phantom of what, you ask? Oh, Phantom well, of simple. the Opera. How many Phantoms are there? The Phantom of the Megaplex. Yeah. That was an actual thing. It was like a Disney movie. What about, uh, is there a Phantom of the Opera a porno? <laughs> Phantom of the Brothel? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, I got an email! Phantom of the Triple X Theater. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman didn't jack off, he was just attacked by a ghost. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I forget where to get to the moon. Uh, we gotta talk to Frankly, I think. Cause we had, that's all we gotta- we Oh wait! Haven't done that I gotta yet. see if, if we can oh, get- Oh! Do we have- well yeah, we have both, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, we have everything here. We, we wanna go talk to the mouse. Oh the, yeah, the rat. Let's give him all our coins. Do we have enough? I think we have enough. The most you can give him is five hundred, and you'll get a thousand back. Spoilers, Jesus. But first, I mean, no. This is a this is a random investment. We're trusting this guy <laughs> with his business proposition, having no idea if it'll pay off because we're just good people and we want to see him succeed. Ha <laughs> ha. What if it was like an if it works situation? It's just like a 50 50 Fu chance. Whoa. Fucking Christ! Oh yeah, we're Danger Mario, remember? Yeah! I didn't realize that was how many you got. I forgot. Yeah, we had a lot. Alright, so, here's a question. What happens if you quit both of these? Well, what is Wario's Luigi? The answer is... Wow, wow Luigi! He's not wearing the, the like, uh, genie shoes. Oh, you're talking to the rat. Oh yeah, that's right. Fuck! You're very easily distracted. I know! There was a, uh... There was a point on the bus at some point that... I don't remember the exact conversation. Some, some kid was talking about how, uh... I went to do... What? Oh! We were supposed to have talked to him already? Okay. <laughs> he struck oil! Yay! I'm glad we invested. Did, did we yeah. invest? Are did... we part of this? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know where my coins go. <laughs> oh, wait! But you you, were, you struck oil! I know! I was gonna invest! Well, it's too late now! Can I buy stocks now that they're $50 each? There were times I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up, but I didn't let my dream die. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. Don't let your dreams be dreams! So we well, get at least we're one punch, man. Yeah, at le and at least we have 500 coins. It's not a thousand coins, but it's still a lot. <laughs> we're no Luigi, but we're Wario. <laughs> God. So that makes Wario just a trouble-seeking bum. A kid, a kid, like, used the phrase, like, number one. And, like, talking about someone, and I... I I put on a hurt voice, and I'm like, but, uh, but Mario's number one. And he's like, I don't like Mario. Oh! Oh! <laughs> do you, do you like Luigi? No. Or, or, or Wario. So it was just a string of sad Mario brothers who this kid doesn't like. Does he like Sonic? Yeah, radical. <laughs> Did you say that? No. Uh -oh. He didn't ask about Sonic. Or I didn't ask. He should have asked about Sonic. Hey, you like Sonic? Hey kids, do you like Sonic? Do you like things that are super awesome? <laughs> From the makers of Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> the hit new game about going fast and kicking butt. I thought you were going to make a freedom plan. Radical the Groundhog. Radical the Groundhog. Coming soon to Steam for $60. Yeah, Radical the Groundhog in six more weeks of winter. Yeah. Alright, so we, we gotta use a cannon to get to the moon. Oh, of course. That's the only way. Yeah, you know, that's how they did it in that other movie, uh, Trip to the Moon. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. The Lumiere Brothers. Yeah. 
I'm surprised you know about that. <laughs> it's, on, it's on Netflix. Yeah. There's like a regular version and a colored version, I think. Isn't it like 10 minutes long? I believe so. I mean, keep in mind that filmmaking was much more involved back in the day. Yeah. Well, that was before they'd, uh, discovered... Oh, wait, the audience can follow it if we change shots from a character to a character. And things don't have to be set up like a stage play. Yeah! That was before the establishment of movie standards. That was before they figured out, hey, we can have a separate audio track that goes along with the video track, and we can have people talk! Novelty. One more thing you should be aware of. There are a bunch of surly pom-poms. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate <laughs> with them. Oh, negotiate. That's your problem, though. Good luck! Wah. Oh, can we power up any partners? Uh, Do I have any shine sprites? I think we... yeah. Check with the uh, start. Or just, I don't know, talk to him. Okay, we, we can power up stars. One. We can power up either Coops or Flurry. Shell Slam or Dodgy Fog? What's Dodgy Fog do? Makes Mario dodgy, so attacks might miss. That might be useful. Attacks it... already might miss us, though, keep in mind. So. Oh, so it'll increase the rate of missing. Yeah. It'll, it's, make, it'll Insubstantially. It's... Do whatever you want, man. I, I will use that. Flurry to increase my flash step potential. Yes, you may. Coop, you may be confused now, but you don't. But I'm actually saving you because if you gain that level of power, you can never go back home. What? Uh oh, sorry, Flurry. Did I not mention that to you? Was that your Flurry voice? I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking. I don't that. care if she sounds like Toad. That's totally okay. <laughs> I was. Thinking, I'm the best. I was thinking of pre reboot Gypsy from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Okay. No good. My potato was done before I put it in the microwave! That sounds like a, uh, that sounds like a cross between Morty and Tweak. <laughs> was it- ah, I don't need this kind of pressure! <laughs> okay, where are we going? I guess we're going to Far Outposts, which is under the left side of town. Okay. Going so to Snowland with snow enemies. Oh no! <laughs> See now, Cooper would have been good because he has fire shell, not Coops. Oh yeah, he has the ability to light his shell on fire and, and survive. D too bad he was tragically born without a personality. Yeah, real shame that. I'm gonna have to wash it. I haven't. I haven't played this game in so long. I've been playing the entire time we've been. And I, well, not and the entire time. I've been playing at certain points. Dragon. There we go. And A. A. I, I know how to play, I swear! And miss? Is he gonna miss? Yes! Lucky! Do you have spike shield on? Yeah. I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I wouldn't. Oh! 29. Can you feel the power, Jack? <laughs> now we're playing with power. I thought he would flip! No, can't you, you thought that the last game, too. They did, Hammer Brothers don't flip. Alright, fine, I'll just have to kill him manually. I am almost done with the Paper Mario 1 highlight reels. There are gonna be three total, and I got two more coming. Yeah, I've been working really hard on uh, work-related stuff, so I haven't got a chance to work on my part of the project yet. Yeah. Or my part of the project yet, so... We have to go back up to the surface to get up there again. Oh, such is the burden of Mario. So I wore the phantom costume to drive bus today. I, I couldn't wear the mask while I was driving, obviously, but... Uh, school spirit. And it's the, it's the bus driver spirit week, not the school spirit week. Those already happened. I don't know why the bus drivers have their own spirit week, or why we don't tell the kids this, but it was a lot more fun that way. <laughs> Why are you dressed like a villain? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? That's how I always dress. No, I so I... I uh, wore it at the high school. And, uh... Ha maybe half the kids recognized it. Oh. Uh, this is, this half, uh, are cultured. 
A lot of them were just not even going to ask why I was dressed up or anything. But, uh, a lot of them liked it. And a couple girls who are, don't ride my bus, they were just passing by, stopped and just started raving about how awesome it was. And I thought I, rec I recognized them because now and again I see, uh, It's stupid cold out here! Oh! <laughs> hey, bro, you want to go snowboarding? Radical. I saw, I see them walk by, and I think one of them is wearing a uh, black butler shirt a lot. So I asked them, are, no. are you the girl who wears the Sebastian shirt? And she's like, we both have one. Bessie! And then they thought I was the best person in the world. <laughs> anime, man. Yeah. Why can't I have anime fans on my bus? All two of them at the school. That's sad. Oh, well. Oh, oh, check behind trees. Like, jump behind them. There's, like, sometimes dick shine sprites and shit. Nah, nothing here. Eh. And hammer trees, too. They might have star pieces. Hey, uh, buddy, sure's cold up here, eh? Freezing my nips off. Then the primary schoolers. I actually didn't wear the mask at the primary school because I was worried about scaring the littler ones. Uh-huh. And I just, like, had it in the breast pocket. And the stat, the teachers all thought it was cool. And the students, uh, epic quests a weight in the in these RPGs. Uh, but, uh, Thank you, Nintendo Wii U. Our, Ninten our Nintendo Wii U sometimes just randomly turns itself on to give us advertisements. That's what I've always wanted. Real life pop up ads. <laughs> if you do the spin jump, you can get a good first strike. Not that it matters. You kill everything in one hit anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, thirty one damage. Nice. So most of the kids had to ask why I was dressed up and things like that. Uh, and, uh, I think only one of them actually said, Oh, that's the Phantom! And it was a kindergartner. <laughs> cool kindergartner! Cool kindergartner. Ice Puff. It's a mean, it's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Yeah, you see it, you just, you get depressed. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. Not, not like Mentos. <laughs> that cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Yeah, like you want to avoid the tax uh, man. That's why you use TurboTax. If we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. It, it, that's what it says, cold Are you energy. tired of getting hurt by touching cold things? Hi, Billy Mays here! With the thermo gloves! <laughs> Sorry, this is Mario. The thermo, thermo boots! They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that then. You maybe. never knew how much you needed them. They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that maybe. Let's go to Applebee's, get some spicy. <laughs> Where do we go off on this tent? What sparked this? Now we're cooking with fire. All right. I don't know. Does Guy Fieri say that? You do multi bounce? I'll just hit. I'll just hit him. Okay. <laughs> Fuck strategy, right? Where? I want to see them attack. What's the worst that could happen? Pop. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, they, exactly! Did they even miss Numbella? Yeah. I don't think she has any badges protecting her and they couldn't even hit her. Damn it, so many moves, so little time. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're 13 minutes into the stream and we've already covered like six topics. <laughs> hey, we leveled up! More badge points! More power. Wah. We're still uh, only two thirds of the way to our max. <laughs> yeah. oh. I have an eight. We're A-listers. All right. Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> we become a we become a main eventer. King of the main events. The Great Gonzalez. Who says we can't control the weather? You know what would have been great if the stars had happened to align as such? Is if we were doing like an ice chapter of Paper Mario. Uh huh. And it was on Christmas, and we had the jingle bell badge equipped for all our sound effects. <laughs> what was Christmas? We'd be playing a Christmas game, I guess. <laughs> Secret Santa. Oh, I got him! Secret Santa. Secret Santa. Yeah. I wish there was a game called Secret Santa. There is. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Isn't that stealth game where you gotta yeah. seek the presents in?
All right, Frog. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Fuck you, Cupella! <laughs> cool customer. Aren't I witty? Ten, five, zero. It, it's biting attack sometimes freezes us, so try to immobilize it first. All right. It's weak against fire attack, so use them as well. Oh, I, I don't have any fire flowers, so I'll have to just uh, wing it. Or, you know, try to use fire attacks. Mario walks up and just pokes him with one punch and he explodes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Master, when I said use fire powers, I was suggesting to let me take care of this. No. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I got this. <laughs> we gotta finish this up quickly. A shopping uh, event is gonna occur in three hours. We get all sorts oh, of jump back there. Shit. Find the tree. Oh, like directly. Just somewhere around in the vicinity. Nope, nothing. I know there's one somewhere. Oh, I should probably do this occasionally. If you want. There was a badge in the first game that revealed the hidden panels on the floor. I don't think- WHOA! I don't pyrotechnics! Yeah, we get pyrotechnics. I don't think that badge is in this game. There we go. That's right, that's because that's what Mrs. Mouse is for. <laughs> yeah. She sniffs stuff out. Oh. Oh yeah, that is what- And we have her, so- Why oh. aren't I using her more? We should, I guess, uh... I guess because there isn't any, uh... It's, it's just it's boring to check every map manually. It's like the item finder in Pokemon. It doesn't tell you where it is specifically. You just have to feel it out. It just tells you there is something on this map. There is something here. Hey, I got him! Next time we're in Rogueport, we got a splurge at the bad shop. We got too much money. Yeah. We had too much money and nothing to spend it on now that we, we missed the oil craze. Or we could, uh... We could buy a shit ton of Piantas and get even more Power Rush badges. <laughs> oh, we just go back there, grab three more, and just... Oh, wait, oh, wait hold on! Hold on! Guy! Wait! No, Mer... I was gonna equip some... Oh, wait, I guess it doesn't matter. There's only one of you. The exchange rate is three coins for one Pianta. Is he offering something? No. No? Okay. It's just the background. And the, uh... I think the Power Rush badges cost... 34 Piantas. So you have to pay, like, 108 coins to get them. Oh each. Oh my gosh. Uh, before... Oh. I got some new badges. I wanted to fill up Well, check space. what the badge there is. Maybe you want that. Oh, is that a ba Oh, yeah. It has the, uh... Oh, HP plus P. <laughs> yeah, no. It doesn't uh, increase all partners. Well, yeah, I guess it does do that, but it's six, and I only got three. Do we have quick change? What, what's it? Fire drip. Could be useful. Ah, uh, but it's five FP. It is strong attack. And although, what? We're, we're, we... <laughs> we're, on, there, we're only gonna have the ice enemies in this, like, stretch. And, and we can just punch them. Up to you. I'll, oh, I won't. Uh... HP, FP... Double dip. Jump. We don't want to do HP up because that'll ruin the point of, uh, of... Oh, right. Yeah, Danger Mario. Yeah. Uh, do we need these two? We don't need them. But are you going to have some other idea to replace them with something? I don't know. I mean, with all these power rushes and the fact that... Ah! Uh... You might as well equip just a bunch of FP plus so you never run out of FP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's get rid of, uh... How many more FP pluses do we have? Just we have three just more. the three more. So get rid of one power plus and you can get all of them. Yeah. All the flower points. Okay, if we do the other one, we can, uh... Have six for something. Uh... Power plus P. Oh, that actually might be better. What? If we have enough power on Mario, we can power up our partner's attacks. That oh! Oh, yeah, you're right! Let's do it! Think we should equip the other one for two less FP pluses? Oh, fuck. You you had the good idea of having a lot of FP because... There's something cause, else Because, right, well, you wouldn't have enough to, to enable the multi-bounce. And the multi-bounce will just be Mario killing everything. There's something else we could de-equip? We can get rid of six power rushes. We don't need all of them. No, we do! Okay. We're, we're gonna do a boss! Let's go down, see what else we have equipped. All right. 
Uh, last game we need those. Uh, pretty lucky cl stacks with close call, but that costs more. You get rid of those and we still have. Well, pretty lucky was what enabled uh, Goombella to be. Uh, it says when Mario's attacked, though. That's weird. So we can either get rid of the pretty luckies or the happy hearts. Mm. The regeneration is ni nice on the off chance we do take one damage. Yeah, but the pretty lucky enable ensures we don't. If they do conflict, fuck it, I'll get rid of pretty lucky. Uh, we have a bunch of the close calls that serve the same purpose. Yeah, because there's a, there's pretty luck. Close calls are cheaper. Cause, okay, this one reads when Mario's in danger, causes enemies to sometimes miss. The other Whereas one. this one, where it's like when Mario's attacked. So this one affects both. So that one is actually better than, like, because it costs Maybe. one, you're constantly low. I'm applying magic logic to this, because it's like, it's I actually I don't know better. For sure. I don't know if it uses magic but, logic. But, for some reason, they also have close call P. That doesn't make any fucking sense! If you wanted to keep your partner at low health at all times. So yeah, I, I would assume it only affects Mario, but I don't know. Let's do... Oh, drop... Just go. Oh, I guess go that... equip the power up P. Okay. Or defend plus. Now power plus P. <laughs> why did Goobella? Why was Goobella able to? I don't know. That's so. If only we had footage of this. We should send this to Strider X. Ask him. <laughs> but he only does regular Paper Mario. Well, maybe no, he does. He does Thousand Year Door as well. Oh, does he? All right. Yeah. I think he did like one or two videos in Super Paper Mario. God bless him. Oh yeah? Oh, this is Russia! I forgot! Da, comrade. Welcome to Far Outpost. <laughs> far Outpost. You get it, it's funny joke. It's funny joke because it's far from civilization. We have regretted that name for centuries. I'd offer you vodka, but it's explosive. No one builds here because it would ruin the joke. Vodka has to be made from potatoes, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, potato vodka. That okay, I thought that was the only that was the only vodka was potato vodka. I I'm, I think because I heard a radio maybe. advertisement for vodka made from corn. That defeat is isn't that just whiskey then? That's what I said. <laughs> just like okay, it's like saying oh yeah, I have this rum. It's made from corn. No, it's made from sugarcane, idiot. Have this mead. It's made from corn. <laughs> Everything's made. Anything can be made from corn. No, it can. <laughs> We're gonna make this uh, this chicken from corn. You are stubborn and selfish, man. How did I do? You're gonna do what to me, Yajirobe? This is bubble. The boy. There's nothing here. The bubble. What a <laughs> ticks. I remember the the bomb and the glitz plit had glitz plit had ticks. Yeah. Far outpost cannon. Wow. Ah! I apologize. I just had this direction. This is nothing. Okay, I guess we'll talk to. Uh, you have oh. to talk to the guy on the far right of the map of the next map. <laughs> Yo, just stand here, cold. Yeah, not indoors. Oh yeah, snow bomb. I'm I think big snow bomb today. Maybe I am as big as him someday. Bowie! But I do not want melting to happen. The melting! The melting! The melting! In summer! Hey, it's the most forgettable song from Frozen. Hey, Help. dude! Yeah, I'll save. Wait a minute! How? You gotta hand it to this guy. Come out to me in this forsaken place. This dude is serious. <laughs> Monsieur <laughs> Lestage, I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn, and she kicked me out. <laughs> so now I must use the heat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. Whatever, guy. He's... I will be dead by tomorrow. Uh. Wait, where do I look okay, here? Ask Umbella about the shopkeeper. Okay. Up uh, first. That's the innkeeper. Hard to tell with the bombs, but I think it's a female. 
No! No! Nobody has any genders! Yeah, it's all identity. You get tired around here, definitely swing by this place. We are in the sticks. The Come Bella has no respect for this place. <laughs> it's just a bunch of shacks. Oh, hey, look, a cannon. I guess we'll use that. Hey, though. I thought she said something about the, like, the bomb being cuter or something. You can buy and sell items here. It's so nice. nice and warm. Da -da. Can we just hang out in here until my nose thaws out? You don't have a nose, Goombella. Oh, right. You got a fang. Think about it, Krillin! You don't have a nose! <laughs> oh, he's right! What can be- What can be done for you? I guess nothing. Dragon Ball OG logic. Yeah, and then he farts in the other guy's face. I'm not Nazi! Bomb cannon? Don't that be guy. silly! It doesn't exist! The guy who actually looks different and is therefore an important character. He's great. Da. What business do you have here? Don't you know. Turn you into spets now. Oh, he's got a coonskin hat. Uh, yeah. Turn him into the FSB. A cannon? There's no such thing as here. Ha 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 ha! Trust me, comrade, but I lie to you. I just. You look at him. Mario looks at him. Looks at the statue. Looks at him. Looks at the statue. We definitely heard there was a cannon around there, here. There's a fucking statue of a cannon! No, it's just a statue, though. <laughs> we did not have one. Well, what happened to it? You had one at some point, right? We have no weapons of mass destruction. Don't look at me. We are peaceful country. <laughs> We're not... Okay, we listen. We're not planning overthrow America. Listen, I don't care about your plans. Something more important than a potential communist uprising is happening. I am not a UN weapons inspector. I'm just a guy looking to get to space. Seems they now, only trust their own kind. Please tell me. <laughs> See, look, I'm legit. Here's this. Uh, here's this former Russian naval officer. I love the look of your countries as you squabble for your petty lives. Russian scariest Italian character. Yeah. <laughs> Now listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? <laughs> Russian bomb on meets... What are you doing? Russian bomb on meets Scottish bomb on. Uh, uh, Scottish? I thought he was like an Englishman. Uh, well... Oh boy, I know I saw Cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir! <laughs> Shush! You... I spit at you! You know rules, there is to be no mention of Cannon to non bomb -bombs. No mention! We must not allow it to be used for evil. <laughs> and this man is clearly evil. Yeah. Right. Look at him. He's wearing a, a, like, purple with an L. He's twirling his mustache and everything. <laughs> you great blowhard. You blowhard. He's just a genie. Oh, is that it? <laughs> we must use that cannon to get to the moon. If we don't, the world could end. World could end? Well, we can't have that! Can't use the cannon right now because. <laughs> this affirmation of. of gold Bob. Gold Bob! <laughs> gold Bob Bob Bob. He's, he's the guy that, that runs a cash for gold place. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, hi, welcome to Gold Bob's! We, we will buy your gold for cash! That's right! Every gold you have, whether it be necklaces, rings, or cock piercings, we will buy them! Gold investment is in. If you don't sell your gold to us now, you're stupid! We, yes, we know it's insulting, but it's the truth! I don't know why I segued into that. <laughs> gold investing is truly perfect. General White got depressed and left. <laughs> Wait, General White, I thought we killed him in Dragon Ball! Aha! Uh -huh, the joke is on you! I was rushing, comrade! <laughs> I will build my tower elsewhere and hire ninjas! Alright. Okay, so we gotta we gotta find the two guys with the keys to activate the nuclear weapons program so we can go to the moon. Gold Bob is in rich asshole town. Uh... 
You know, I know you're not Did joking. You ask, I... ask that guy about, uh, other guy, General White, the mayor. Oh, just talk to him again? Maybe he'll, he'll tell you where to go first for General White. Yeah. Gold Bob and General White. Gold Bob is Gold Bomb -om with... Silcat and Mustache. We need his permission to fire a cannon. General White is White Bob -om, as you expect. And he has mustache finer than even yours. Okay, no, he doesn't. Why? Tell us. <laughs> we can't, we I guess can't. we go to Gold Bob first because we know where he is. Maybe he'll tell us some info. Yeah. So. Oh no, I remember. We saw General White earlier in the game in the Petal Bird. Oh yeah. So he's in the beginning of the game and near the end of the game. Thank God for warp pipes. Yeah. Well, where's the warp pipe for here? Uh, there is not one. Oh, yeah. You're gonna have to walk back. Uh, God damn. It's just the way all the UN people, it's like, it's just communicating with somebody, they say, hey, we have demand, I want you to tell your person our demand, and you're just like, fuck, we gotta go all the way to India to talk to, negotiate with this Russian asshole, all right. Why can't he come here? Why can't he come here? It's like... I guess if you were in politics, you'd understand. And so would I. Why can't he come here? Are you insane? You know how many enemies he has here? Or like, something like that, I guess. I'm just killing everything. Almost like the game's lost its challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing with Max Cheats on? Yeah. Why? I'm trying to get into the mind of Sayatama. What is it like being the most powerful man in the world? I mean, we could experiment with other badge builds. I just don't think we have, like, the badge required for whatever else. Yeah. <laughs> just us, just... Grabbing a fucking axe and chopping all these guys down to size. Most technical builds require, like, a bunch of specific badges, and you need to grind enemies for multiple copies of them and shit like that. Yeah, and it's too time-consuming to show that off, so... Instead... I wonder where quick change is in this game. Oh my god, he juked me out! Oh... You said you put, like, Power Plus on uh, our partner, right? Yeah. Okay. Or rather, I did. Let's see if Explosion counts as ice. What the fuck? As fire? It doesn't. For whatever reason, they're separate elements. I think that's just the regular version, but it attacks all enemies. I would just use the base. Alright. Whoops. That's not gonna be good. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. We're gods, remember? <laughs> or genies, at least. <laughs> We're superheroes. <clears throat> Man. No, I'm sorry. We're ordinary humans. We just do 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups. We do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, a 10-kilometer run... And we don't turn on the air conditioning or the heat. Every single day! <laughs> then our hair will fall out. And you'll have to update your avatar. Yeah. Just be two bald dudes. And two bald dudes. Two bald dudes play. So... We want to go down the pipe on the right. Uh, I guess we're going to Richtown. Yeah. We gotta find the Russians and... We gotta get the band back together. I hate this. Uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do bounce. Is there no one left to challenge my power? Now you know what it's like to be Hinpachi. Ugh, so boring. Just slash him at one. Oh. Did you just destroy the hammer in midair? No. That's not what happened. Sure looked that way. So this one? Yeah. 
just knock it out and just knock it out of midair and I'm like, uh, it's Down not worth my right. time. Not worth my time taking you out. Oh shit! It's okay, someday you'll be able to hit me. It's like using uh you have about the same chance as you do uh, like, like catching Mewtwo with a Pokeball at full health. It's possible. The percentage isn't zero. Yeah. Doesn't that fill you with hope? You have a non-zero chance of hitting me. So over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, up there. Pipe on the right, I think. Uh, the right. Or Maybe. One of them. Wouldn't it be to the left because the left? I'll is... try it. Oh. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah you right, you right. <laughs> you don't understand. This is a nice neighborhood. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> your your hot dog vendors aren't welcome here. I'm gonna drop a grenade in it and watch it explode. Oh man, my brother wrecked this place good. Your kin are banned here. If anybody shares has a genetic tie with you, they can't come here. <laughs> Wario ruined it for everyone. The mean streets of Greenwich, Greenwich, Connecticut. With its uh, perpetual elevator music. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you think the people here deserved it? Like they were secretly racist against Mobians or something? Maybe. <laughs> like, oh, a Mobian. We don't allow your kind in here. Oh, hey, you're Sucks. Russian. Sure. He's an oil... He looks like an oil baron. Yeah. Nah. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? Uh, I heard you were from Russia. I need you to negotiate. Oh, sure, sure. Don't tell the missus. <laughs> oh, God. He's he's actually a double agent here illegally. Sleeper agent. God. Gold Bob. He's literally made of gold. They're gold, silver, and bronze. I just realized that. <laughs> you just realized it. I tis a pickle. Very well then. I owe you a favor. Why? Do we help you? Oh yeah, on the train. Oh yeah. We did save his life. I, I have to resume my business with that cannon someday. Oh, what can? What are they? Is it like they just use the cannon to fire? At what? At nothing. They they just it get was like uh like that cannon, cannon island. Fodder. Yeah, cannon fodder from mm -hmm. uh, memories. Yeah. Katsuhiro Otomo. There's a lot of coin, though. You need to demonstrate. How much is it worth to you? Nothing. Not what? Yeah. <laughs> Has to be everything I have. Yeah. In order to progress. You pay every coin your own. All of them. The rich man is aghast. Really? <laughs> nah, no, I just really. Yeah. I'm just fucking with you. I suppose I'm here to say that it's staggered, actually. See, if we were still Wario, we wouldn't be able to say this. I... You know that, You'd dude. be living in a cardboard box with a bunch of munchkins. Now I got my brother to support- I mean, yeah, I, I know. I'll become- I'll become a homeless rapper like MC Ride. Yeah. What? Nah. I could get more very quickly and easily. Just beat up some monsters. I mean, yeah, I, you're right. I would be destitute. Eh? Oh, yeah, that'd be terrible. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. He really wants you to be sure. So if I hit yes... If you hit no, the whole thing resets. Okay, so it's yes. Mm-hmm. Fucking owl. You won't say just kidding or any tomfoolery like that. Yes. I won't. No, I think. Yes, yes. I won't say. Okay, say yes. Whatever. All right then. I give my permission. And we thanks. Also... Bye. Oh, and I wasn't so serious earlier. I'm gonna take your money. 
It's a shame, I suppose, but I'll return it. Hey, wait a minute. I, I had I had like a hundred more than this. Oh, I'm just gonna go! <laughs> I have a train to catch! By the way... By the way, I know that you keep a fucking shark in your pool. I'll bring it up with the housing authority. Bye! It's my anti-wario measure. Wow! <laughs> now he haunts us. This used to be a good neighborhood. <laughs> you don't understand. This is a nice... What's that? Is that a from something? Uh, the Punisher. Oh. It was, a uh, this guy called Elite. He wore, like, a plain white mask. And, uh, and he was tired of, like, drug dealers and, like, you know, very, un like, petty, unsavory things. Oh, I don't so think is playing. Again. They like petty, unsavory things happening to his neighborhood. Yeah. And so he just killed like a bunch of people. Oh. And he thought the Punisher would like him for it. But since he kill also killed innocent people, the Punisher's like, like you're also evil too, you don't you know? Don't you know. And the guy's like, I don't get it! But I've killed people like you! And he's just got the last panel of that comic run is just him gunning the three of them down. Yeah. But he later had a son who was just as rich and as holish as he was. He oh, took okay. on the main of Elite, and then he cloned a uh, legless and armless woman multiple times in order to get Punisher really angry. Yeah. I've got a game about a rich asshole that we need to play at some point. I'm oh. not going to tell you what it is. I'll keep it a surprise. <laughs> Oil Tycoon 2007. No. Where are we going? Uh, who knows about Gold Bob? I guess I'll ask the head Koopa. I can't imagine a more boring game than an Oil Tycoon game. Yeah. Watching paint dry the game, maybe. Yeah, he said something about a deserted island to the south. He was either going there or not going there. Hmm. He was not going to a deserted island in the south. Maybe he's at the port. He's probably at the port. It is a deserted island. This is the chain quest, remember? Oh, yeah. Gotta go to place after place. And it's not too bad with these warp pipes. It's gonna be a pain when we're asked to go to Glitzville or Twilight Town. <sighs> you know that cover they did that you are you're not crazy about the like whispery melancholy version of Everybody Wants to Rule the World? Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Who was that group that did that? Lord. I don't know if it's the same group if it's Lord again, but they did. I I saw like a trailer for a Netflix series. Uh -huh. And they did that with another song. They did that with K Staying Alive. <laughs> Wait, so wait, there's this, this song? There's, huh? this, there's huh? this trailer huh? playing huh? of... Staying Alive. There's this trailer of some series, and there's just this whispery woman going, Well, you can tell by the way I do my walk. I'm a woman's man. What? That makes even less sense than fucking the... I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> That was explicitly a fucking, like, groovy song to dance to! Yeah! It was funky! It was cool! I, I unironically liked that song! Yeah? Well, now there's a there's a Lord or Lord knockoff version. <laughs> so dumb! General White, he was here until a second ago. Oh, he was here! <laughs> Arena or something. Of course he was. Wait. He, oh yeah. I guess they do have like uh, a. You know what? A this way is to faster. get to and from, huh? Cortez. Hey. I need a trap to the mainland. Bueno, we are off. Cast so off, he just Jimmy. goes to and from to like you know. To I, magically appear there whenever Mario needs him. I guess he's like ferrying people to and from the island. Yeah. Because you know, I guess it's inhabited now. It's like a port. He's got a GPS on Mario, so he knows when he takes the warp pipe to the island. Yeah, how it works is that uh, they harvest uh, the tropical, uh, like, citrus fruits uh, from the island and sell them at Roadport so they can get, like, penicillin and medicine and stuff. Yeah. And then Cortez takes a cut of the profit. Yeah. Also, it's Cortez, so nobody would fuck with the supply line. Obviously. You don't wanna- you don't wanna piss off ghost pirates. What if he gets caught with drugs, he just says, he's not for me, amigo. Because he can't be, because he's a skeleton. <laughs> just a, you're just making me think of, like, Sands and Papyrus just snorting cocaine. Just... Or at least smuggling it. Smuggling cocaine. Hey, bro, why isn't this working? <laughs> we don't have noses! 
Oh. <laughs> uh. Hey, yo! Uh, yeah, earthquake. Fuck it. Might as well fill it out. We got the coins. Never Who's gonna use hammer, man. Oh. Never gonna use it, but we'll fill up the badge entry. All right, now we're going to an arena. You know, this is how you climb stairs in real life. Just jump up. Just everywhere. jump up. Yeah, you get to the top, and you get really tired. And going downstairs is even more dangerous. <laughs> Simplifier. <laughs> Buy everything on sale, why not? Wait, we missed our chance to become oil barons! At least there's a way to make more money. Yeah. You just gamble a lot, buy some gold, and resell it. Because... We're all out of special deals for the day. I wonder if that does reset on an actual uh, daily, like it keeps track of the GameCube clock. Uh, probably how it works. Probably not. Fire drive, damage dodge, pretty lucky. Yeah, yeah happy flower. Regenerate flower points, that would actually be useful. first attack do? Uh, unless you do a first strike to defeat weak foes without fighting. Uh... So that or attack affects P. Or a flower point drain. Nah, we don't need that. Does it, does flower point drain, does flower point drain, like, happen, like, regularly by itself, or... Do you, you drop to, attack it, power by one, but regain one flower point per attack, so... We'd, okay! We'd always have max flower points. Basically. That would be useful! Oh, okay. I actually say equip that shit. That way we'll, we will we will never only one only one, one! <laughs> are you shit me? It is a it has been a suggested part of the uh, the Danger Mario set. All right. Meanwhile, Flower Point Regen is oh no, we didn't get that one. Is there any valid reason to equip Slogo? Uh, I guess if you're at points where you need to sneak past sleeping enemies. Oh, it's like a, it's like a sneak badge then. Other than that, no. It'd be like a magic card that like costs one and said, cre that says creatures you control lose first strike. Yeah. Or like that one card, one with nothing, where it's just, discard your whole hand. Just a handicap card. Yeah. All right, off to Sky Place. There should be cards that matter, like, like if you're playing like an actual match, like you know, best two out of three, or it's like if you win a match, like a, a, that's something that handicaps you, but if you win with it, you get like a bonus your next game or something. Yeah. So where would that be in the next game? It'd be in like some special all its own zone. Well, it'd just be a statistic that would carry over. Yeah. I'd be like, you try to win with number one, and then... Mario's number one. Yeah. I'd be a weird strategy, but it could happen. Or like, if you lose with this card, you're on your next game. Next. You seem to be sucking. That's the title of that card. Yeah. Alright, we're here. We're looking for any hint that General White was here. Let's go to the glitzy juice. Oh, hello. Oh, hell. Just what I'd expect from a legendary glitz pit champion. An overwhelming win. I thought that was Jolene. That's not. Are but, you sure? That, is yeah. that, she runs a juice bar on the side and she just takes off her glasses to like hide her identity. Maybe we can't get into her office. Like we, you can't go in there at any time. So that white bomb, huh? I haven't seen him lately. I think he headed off some huge tree, or not? Oh God! Why? Gameplay. Welcome to welcome to the one where we artificially extend gameplay for an hour or two.
And the Xbox, the Xnaut space isn't small either. <sighs> do you want to go to the moon? Do you really want to go to the moon? How much do you want to go to the moon? You want to go to the moon and fuck it! Fuck you, game! How many people do you think just stopped at this point in the game and never saw the end because of this? <laughs> this was the one too many? Yeah. Apparently... I, I heard apparently the Game Grumps played Donkey Kong Country 2, and they stopped at the Gloomy Gulch World. The, oh my, that was too much for them? The horror world. They just stopped. That was it for the playthrough. They just couldn't get past it? I don't know if they couldn't, or they just decided they didn't want to. They also did, like, a, a Paper Mario Thousand Year Door stream. Or, a, not a stream, but a playthrough. That they might still be doing. Last I checked, they were, like... They do it in... They're YouTubers, they do it in 15-minute videos. Oh, God. So they were, like, part 52, and they were at the Glitz Pit. That'll take, like, 20... Like, I, I, I imagine the super best friends would let something like the fucking gloomy gulch stop them. Yeah. They would just go right through it and be like, yeah, suck it. Though, they would still probably get stuck at, like, uh... If they ran into Like, the Lost too. World, yeah. If it wasn't for that emulator error, we would have gotten through that so much faster. Yeah. It would It would have not posed an issue. We would have- it would have been two parts if not for that. Yeah. Gerald White? Where is he? Going somewhere dark- I've got it! Under Rogueport! That's dank. <laughs> not the good kind of dank. I gotta jump more. It makes it easier to sync the sound later. Wah! Oh no. Oh, you took damage. The only one that can uh, consistently land a hit on me. The fucking fish. Fish face. <laughs> so it's like this... Originally random creatures were inhabiting these, li these like sewers. And then Bowser came and like filled it with his army. Yeah. He took over. He's conquered the sewers. You don't seem to understand! Bowser's right under our noses. Ah, shut up. Where am I going? Someplace dark. Twilight Town. Yeah. <laughs> the pike rejected you. So. Yeah, I saved you. Uh, who knows about the general? Y'all look the same. There you That's go. Right. He's a white bomb, right? He was here till recently. Where'd he, he go? What am I, a secretary? He looked tired. Oh, so he's back at the inn. Is he nope. back in Roadport? Nope. What? Well, he looked tired. So. I'm going home to the place where I be- nah. God damn it! Right back where we started. Life on the outside ain't what it used to be. See, that was a song that worked when they did a really somber version of it. Yeah, because it's a really somber song with really somber content, not fucking... Stay I can tell by the way she wa- What was the what was that for? Again? That was the start of staying alive. I know, but what was like what was the show? Oh, I don't I don't remember the show. Was it a movie? It was something totally unrelated to the song. So you know Will Smith is in a Netflix original movie? Okay. What movie? Uh I it's it's a uh, fuck, I forget what it's called, but it started off with the fucking uh, old recording of This Land is Your Land. Yeah. And then it showed, like, an orc-like creature with a shotgun in what appeared to be modern day. Okay. And then it showed a bunch of elves, and I'm like, wait, is this just Shadowrun? Was it? I don't know. But what I do know is Max Landis is behind it, and so I'm interested because 
His last movie was basically stoner Jason Bourne. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... You! Oh, he had... Do you know how fucking far we had to go to find you, you jut, you dipshit? A hammer's not enough for you. <laughs> you don't deserve the ha Oh, I guess you do deserve the hammer. No, it doesn't work. Maybe it needs to be on the same level as him. No. Oh. Wow, that's one tough... Oh. I actually have to do it from here. It's scripted. Wake him up. Ah! That's like 30 damage per jump, too. Wow! What a tough fucker. You don't, don't fuck with Russians, man. He's got more HP than the final boss, even the secret boss. You have to time it? Or no. Is just... just mash an A. Gameplay! Are you having fun yet? This is... <laughs> well, this is, this is inexcusable. Duh. I felt a breeze. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't want your attention. Huh? We're firing the cannon. I've been looking everywhere for you! No shit! We've been looking everywhere for you! Oh, isn't this silly? The Rogueport fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams. Why am I suddenly the announcer from Korra? <laughs> Fortune teller announcer. All right, let's go. Fuck, let's go to the fucking moon. Jesus, so much work to go to the moon. I guess that was the point. All right, I filled your fucking quota. I could explode with delight. Please do. Let's go to the moon. I want to bust some heads. You follow me. I, I'm captain now. You come this way. Is that a washing machine? Oh, it's just a fan. I guess that's the air conditioner. <laughs> it's not cold enough! We need it colder inside! Yeah, these bomb bombs are hardcore. Wait, or maybe it's the heater and it's just blowing cold air. Yeah. Okay, whatever you say. It was a trap! Oh no. You're too trusting, comrade. God, the Kremlin's got us. This big bomb cannon ready. What? You know the drill. Load the big bomb cannon. <sighs> and remember the, the cutscene in the first game where the, the desert temple rose? Yeah. I guess this is kind of the counterpart to that. Guidance system online! <laughs> you remember, uh, there is uh, this one uh, DuckTales movie I watched a long time ago, and then, like, one of the characters tripped over, like, a really small pyramid that, like, and they're like, oh, well, obviously we gotta dig it out. And so they just dug down, and there was, like, a big pyramid. Yeah. I'm reminded of, the, of that with this. That was also an avatar. The buried library. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got This is some secret. You know ah, what? there is no cannon here. We have no such thing. We have, We have no cannon, it's about the size of a fucking metal gear. You can trust us. A fucking... He's not used to launch tactical nukes. <laughs> Target is the moon. Oh, I'm not targeting your monster. Destroy the moon! What? <laughs> <laughs> you have bested me, Yugi! Wow, 
Lots of stats. Techno babble. Lots of maths. Chamber, hatch open. Oh! <laughs> wow, those guys can jump. How do you make a bigger explosion? More gun. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. You don't have a neck! That's gotta be like so loud, right? Yeah, Mark. What? <laughs> How Mario not, went deaf again. Not just that, but also just in general, just what? <laughs> just in general, like like plausible deniability only works so far. We keep listen. We keep hearing fucking explosions in your fucking village. We know you have a cannon. What cannon? Don't be silly. We have no cannon. Don't open that door! In space, no one can hear you scream. What if we just kept it like this the entire time we were on the moon? <laughs> well, well, we It'd are. Be realistic. I like how you say what if when we actually are doing it. What? <laughs> Can't. You're making lip movements, we can't hear you! Hey, what are you saying, Mario? I can't hear you. What? For that matter, how are we breathing? What? Oh, semantics. Look, to be fair, Mario has the ability to, like, breathe underwater, so... Oh, God, the slow walk. What if we equip slow go now? <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Just walking <laughs> on the moon. Getting stuff on Ground the moon. control to Major, Major Tom. Tom. She packed my bags last night. Free flight. Different song, but okay. Ground control to Major Feeling Tom. Feeling very scared. And I'm I think my be... Goomba knows which way to go. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be a long, long time. I'm, I'm a rocket man. Ah! Combat. Bonk! <laughs> <laughs> it's space no one can hear you bleed. Oh, hey, I got a flower point. I think sometimes... You know, the fire attacks would be much more impressive if they weren't in a complete vacuum. I think sometimes they damage you. Sometimes they just, misfire. Just pointing at just pointing at the book and, and just... mouthing. Defense is high, and fire attacks don't work against it. Oh, what do I say? You can't hear me, Mario. Your solution will be the same as always. Just jump on it. <laughs> you, you, I'm honestly surprised you're asking me for advice, honestly. Considering you could just kill everything in one punch. What? Never mind, Mario. Get to the base as fast as possible. <laughs> there's stuff on the moon, but I don't think there's anything we need to worry about. If we were going for a 100% complete percent run, I can come back later. You know, I'll come back to the moon whenever I want to. NASA does. Miss. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, combat isn't really that effective on the moon, and basically the low gravity enhances Mario's jumping power. We still have... I'm gonna be honest, you don't stand a chance. We still have Happy Heart equipped, don't we? Yeah, we I guess all three it, of them. Yeah, it just needs like a more than a turn to activate. Yeah, you, you're finishing battles too quickly. Our healing factor does not have time to kick in. Our healing factor is busy dealing with the effects of a vacuum. That's how we can breathe in space, our healing factor. All right, it's not so much breathing as it is just not dying of oxygen deprivation using our healing factor. Yeah. It's just incredibly painful, and it sucks being out here, but the healing factor is preventing us from dying, and therefore... Let's put a Bacchano character on the moon. There was that Bakudo character that was, like, trapped underwater, right? Oh, yeah, they did do that yeah. to one of them, didn't and they? And then later on, like, the three of them send him underwater, and then his sister comes asking for him, and the three of them were like, Sorry about that, I guess we got a little carried away. Anyway, here he is. So did he survive? Uh, he was immortal, of course he survived! Well, we've seen Bakudo immortality includes, like, uh... Like, blows to the head, and you regenerate blood and shit, but I don't know about anything beyond that. Well, no, he survived! He totally fucking survived. 
Ha ha ha! You can't hit me. <laughs> Alright. Z yucks, I think it was. Z yuck. That's a Z yucks. It's a genetic improvement on the original yucks. It's been modified to survive in the vacuum of space. They just took bugbear DNA and they they just went wild with it. Nope. Oh, he's firing and. It... <laughs> oh, gee, Steve, we can't hit this guy with anything. What? Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, I got a tattle on them, too. No, tattle. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Is that why you didn't do anything? I told you, I told you, Carl. There's no sound on the moon. We gotta use our telepathy. <laughs> I, I, we gotta use our intercom. God, fuck it, hell. I don't want to... It's just pure silence. We gotta Eerie. get to the moon base. We gotta oh. get to moon base alpha. And we'll hear beautiful music together. Oh, look, they're gonna get another one. Uh, Let that guy heal. No, dead. Okay. He's it, it, so it does only apply the dodging to Mario. That's weird. I don't know why I did Goombella that one time. Yeah. That was strange. <laughs> well, this is annoying. Mario actually can't even. Their shields are powerful enough to resist Mario, so Goombella has to do. Wow. <laughs> Five, di ten damage. That's, That's not insignificant. That's as strong as we were by the end of the previous Mario game. And only now it's Goombella. Yeah, thank god we have a better outlet for, like, damage. Oh, you're gonna get the full Mario now. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, we leveled up. <laughs> not here for this! Da 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 we leveled up on the moon. <laughs> Yay! What? <laughs> okay. There, wait, there's a pipe up. We got it. We got to take it. Yeah, that's where the pipe is. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to get in here. Where's Where is the button? Okay. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Cabela? Ah! Uh, what a suspicious structure. <gasps> this building is so totally suspicious it hurts. Oh, thank God I can hear again. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about that, Mario. It's a little weird. Why were we? Why was I alive in space? I mean, I, you I understand, but me. The healing factor was so powerful. Just wait till we get to Super Mario it's Galaxy. Transcended beings. Who's that, dude? Yeah. Whoa! Great music, DJ Aelita! I see you're I see you taking a Death Grips inspiration to your music. Yeah. Can't flee. Who's running? You better both come at me at once if you want to stand a chance. Too late. Oh, the Elite! So he's Bullet Club. Defense is one. <laughs> That's cute. Elite next shots are tough, okay? You just have to smack away until they go down. That was pathetic. And we gain power from their deaths now. <laughs> <laughs> the Crystal Star must be here too. And Peach! This has become a slasher film. Are we the slasher? Yeah. Pachi versus Predator. <laughs> Pachi would find the Predator too gimmicky. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I still expected my jump to be higher. They've got artificial uh, gravity here. Yeah. No, friend! Don't worry, you'll join him soon. <laughs> It's okay, they're bad guys. So if you have multiple HP drains, that would mean that every attack would potentially gain you like two or three, right? Yeah. That'd be crazy. Oh, don't make the wrong move. I won't. Alright, elevator key. And it disabled. What a weirdly suspicious place to put it. 
I'm gonna run out of item space very soon. Yeah, you might as well just eat stuff just for kicks. Hey Mario, you didn't eat any health. Why'd you eat that mushroom? <laughs> Who eats mushrooms for the health? The whole time Mario's ultra powerful, he's just really tripping balls. Yeah. He's able to see the ley lines and shit. It's all in your head, Mario. No. Ah! Oh, the door didn't work. He disabled it. The fiend. Ah! Remember when this was a chapter? When there was actually like a challenge to getting through this? Yeah. That's been kind of... It's a, it's a grow arc. It's just, uh, Yusuke and Urameshi and friends just going through, like, a demon-infested, like, compound and forest and just kicking ass. Hey, Tarukine! We beat your shitty demons! What do you got for us next? <laughs> hey, we got... I don't know, we got a couple of brothers. Oh, hey, a challenge! I don't know why it took me until now to realize that Tarukine's voice was a Marlon Brando gimmick. It was a pretty good one, though. Yeah. That, whoever that was, they did a good Marlon Brando. There's like that. And there's also Greg Crawl when he does good Mako. Oh, is that the new Mako? Quote yeah, unquote? he was the guy who was uh, who was uh, Iro in the final season of Last Airbender. Yeah. And he's also uh, he's also uh, Aku. Okay. In the fifth season, I found out. Yeah, I, I'd heard about that. Yeah. So, but he, but yeah, he's basically taking. He was. Greg Baldwin has basically become known for taking over Mako's previous roles. Yeah. Because he does a decent Mako. Much like how uh, they had, like, Al Pacino couldn't do Scarface when they did the Scarface game, so they got his understudy to do Scarface. Yeah. And he did Scarface pretty well. What if they replaced Mako with uh, the guy who does Uncle? What? <laughs> Samurai? <laughs> One more thing? Samurai? Oh, I needed to tattle on him. Oh, well, later. Oh, he had a badge, too. Oh. No, he didn't. That was a super mushroom. <laughs> just a side rate of scientist, and he, Mario just sticks his hand through his chest, and then he was like, Mario, I didn't identify him yet! Oh, sorry, uh, well, what is he? I don't know, he desiccated the corpse! Kill first, and there's nothing left. <laughs> Kill first, ask questions later. Okay, I think this one has something to do with, like, the way Mario. the tiles are... No, animated. okay. Yeah, I see it. He's... Stare at it long enough and you can see <laughs> it's it. It's like a magic eye picture. I like this music. Yeah. Pretty decent music. It yeah. reminds me of Battle Network. It's the best of, like, uh, mid-2000s game music. Oh, God. Th these rooms are the only threat to me in this base. <laughs> like cutscenes. Uh, no, don't. Oh. <laughs> Card key. Thank God the room deactivates when we get that. Yeah. You got sleepy sheep. Good, uh, good end game item there. Remember when we were in Bowser's castle and just gave us free ultra shrooms and shit? Yeah, I guess because Peach's castle is the most extravagant, oh, hey. or it would have like the best stuff. Now remember. I, I was trying to do the same thing that you did earlier with the hammer. I know. You know what happened? What? The hammer hit the wall. Okay. If you, if you look over... X not PhD. It's got a diploma. Guys like this doctor, invent. Dr. X not. I'm a doctor, man, not a fighter. All under the hunter exam and make tons of money. So they're like X not equivalent of Magic Koopa. Not magic, it's science. It's science! Stupid science Vikings. Regular X-Nots aren't even worth anything anymore. Yeah. Hey, I remember this room. Why does this room seem familiar to me? I've never been here before. Why does this room smell like Naked Princess? Oh, wow. We almost long, got sniped. <laughs> long range. 
Huh. This Weird. could be convenient. It's over here. Nothing. Oh no. What happened? That's how they be getting them themselves down. Yeah. Where the heck are we? I don't know. The music didn't give it away. Oh. The X not use that thing to come here from the moon. Oh god. Does this mean we don't have to go to Russia again? Russia again? Thank God. Hey Russia, you have no reason to fire the cannon anymore. Uh, then we will fill it with nukes. Uh, I I mean, we'll totally be back. You like uh, McDonald's new monochrome cup design? That looks downright evil. Yeah? What the fuck? It's what? just a plain white cup with the black McDonald's logo. Oh on. my god, that is some New World Order shit. Submit. Obey. Put on the glasses. Okay, more scientists. There's a vent I can go up to there. Ah, fuck it, I'll go on the vent. There's more of this room, but... This is a long hallway. Oh no, we went to the door. I can't chase him. <laughs> that, that, that. You important know, uh, locker physics in this game. Can we disguise ourselves as x knots and go through undetected? Nope. No, of course not. There are no costumes here. And we can't steal one from an existing x knot because every time we hit them, we eviscerate them. Yeah! Oh no! I'm oh! I'll never defeat four, this many guys! Four on one! Oh no! Is that all? Master, do you need my assistance with this? Ching! Nah, I'm I got good! This. I didn't realize when I started this series that it was a comedy. It made itself apparent fairly quickly, but. Yeah, it, it is like a comedy. It's. Well, it's an outright parody. Yeah. And I figured it would be a parody. I just thought that they were going a little more seriously than they did for whatever reason. I don't reason. know, it seems pretty serious. A bunch of cities are getting wiped out and shit. Ah, no one cares, though. <laughs> that was so slow, I could dodge it. <laughs> There's that one time where uh, Kinshiro from Fist North Star is fighting a guy with, like, nunchucks. Yeah. He's, like, doing really cool moves, like, Yeah, see, yeah, see if you can block me! And then he, like, strikes at him, and Kinshiro just grabs him, he's like, That was so slow, I yawned. <laughs> I hear this is read as cross yucks, not as X yucks. Oh, okay. What's with people not wanting to pronounce this X? Cross yucks. Or was this the only time that we saw that? It was cross yucks and. What, what was it? Yeah, that apparently, Diaz? apparently it, it's, it's actually Street Fighter Cross Tekken, not Street Fighter X Tekken or whatever. What was the guy in One Piece? Uh. Something. Diaz Drake. Okay, so not X Drake, Diaz yeah. Drake. So weird, like... We have not been hit a single time this stream. Kubella, on the other hand, has. Yeah, once. Okay, so these are the strongest of the yuxes. Those little things... I was gonna say, might as well save the flower point, but I forgot that we get our flower point back. We we have a, a net gain of zero flower points. Just using the attack which benefits us the most. Hit number two for Goombella. Goombella can take him out in one shot. I don't think so. I think it has a defense of one, doesn't it? Okay, well then use multi bounce or some shit. Yeah, good one. Decent-ish amount. Yeah. So we're already at the throne room, question mark? Yeah. It's like the science throne of Kurosuchi. Kurosuchi would approve of this room. The silicon throne. Then you enter the uh, plush carpet office of Yamamoto. <laughs> With the, the rain and mass. Uh, no, this is... Fuck, fuck that. This would be a uh, Kyoroku office. Yeah. The shag office. The, this is the most fuckable floor in all of the... Serite. Now. 
niece, we as we come to find out. That's what they call me, niece fucker Kyoraku. <laughs> I mean, you might as well own your nicknames, right? I'll tell everyone your secrets, man who doesn't fuck his niece! Oh no! My reputation will be improved. Can't have that. <laughs> That's gotta be a thing, is that some- there's a- Some guy doesn't want word to get out that he did something nice. And he just, like, stresses makes a big deal about it. <laughs> Turns out he actually did, therefore- wait, what the fuck? Wah! Oh. oh, wait! Oh, can you switch out partner? Yeah! Yeah, I didn't know about this! Dragon! Vivian, Bobbery, and Miss Mouse. So cute. Da, 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 da. Oh, they, she's a Goomba, but they gave her a mouth, unlike in Mario 1. Yeah. She looks like she's got an eye on her forehead. Can you hit X and C and see if she says anything? Nope, no. she, her powers does not work, and I can't hammer. Oh. Well. Okay. Like a fucking Illuminati eye. The Goombella of Truth. <laughs> she sees all. She knows all. Well, that was a weird. I do. I, I, I should, feel so old all of the side. I should lay off the cybersill and it's fucking with me. This fucking drug trip, Mario. Mario, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, I'm a seeing some shit. So if uh, if Mario's drug of choice is shrooms, would that make Sonic's drug of choice meth? Speed. Speed, okay. Then, uh, that, that means that, uh, Mega Man. I'm a walking on the computer! I don't, I don't know, what is Mega Man's? He does cracks. Oh, okay. He's not, not No, crack. no, wait. Yeah, cuz, uh, Where's... he's Rock Man. He does rock. <laughs> well, I mentioned cracks, like, you know, like, where's, and, uh, oh. you know, hacked software. Yeah, I guess. That'd be Mega Man.exe. I like. There is. You, you haven't played much of the Battle Next Network series, no, it, right? No, it's combat... It's combat system is a bit too frantic for me. In, Especially uh, when it comes to having to think about your actions. Yeah. In, uh... I think they introduced it in Battle Network 2 with uh, various other styles. But there is a, uh... In Battle Network 2 and 3, you can get a style change that, like, affects... It's like a, a class change you can get. Oh, really? And one of the styles is virus style. Oh, no. What does that do? Uh, it gives you, like, random bugs at the start of every battle. For better or for worse. Oh, so it's if it works. Yes. That does it, sound like challenge mode. It is basically challenge mode. And in the third battle network, you get this style by intentionally fucking up your uh, customization programming. Like, making a program that doesn't run correctly. Oh, yeah, I, I remember that, like, gimmick. I thought Virus Style was like, oh, hey, uh, the main character is using dark chips. And then... You, by having Virus Style for a long time in Battle Network 3, you can level up and gain the ability to use dark chips that would otherwise... They're like really hard to use, or you can't fit them in, or you need. There's some handicap if you don't have the virus style. <laughs> you use virus style too much, you join the enemy, and then that, that unlocks the ending in which Land becomes like king of the of the internet. With Land does become king of the internet. Really? Yeah. <laughs> or basically, there's a uh, uh, I, there's a no more heroes style plotline in Battle Network Three. Where you have to go through a line of people ranked 10 to 1. Oh my gosh. And the person ranked number 1 is literally the king of the undernet. Nice. So he saw a beating if you become king of the undernet. He's one of the... Basically the big final boss of the after game. Aside from ba Bass. Bass. Nice. That's a nice noise. What's the point of this? Uh, oh, I have to operate it from here. Who likes claw games? Claw. You 
got it. Yeah. What's that one? It's not hard. Uh, feeling fine. It prevents us from being poisoned or given any status effects. That's not, that seems useful, at least. If we're in a place where we're, like, getting status affected, yeah? Yeah. Right here, like, here it's just the scientists that can potentially do that to us, but... But other places in the game that were there before this one... Or maybe even just Underground Temple or something. Could have maybe it's been useful, I don't know. I don't even think... We got the Shadow Temple left and we got the Pit of 100 Trials. And I can't think of many in either of those that it would be really good against. So it's useless at this stage of the game. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason for us to equip it. My favorite part of this is watching the cutscenes as we wait for the, the arm to get over here. <laughs> after it leaves for some reason. For any reason, rather. Hey, you want to get all of the individual coins? Uh, no. Yeah, me neither. Wario shed a single tear that day. Besides, if it was just Mario, he'd just jump up there and just grab them all himself. But no, he can't. You gotta operate a crane. Like an idiot. Not like Mario knows how to jump or anything. We're fucking Waluigi. We could probably, like, step up there. <laughs> that, t that tall, lanky motherfucker. Oh, it didn't work. No. Oh. They're good at, like, disabling the doors. The audience hasn't thrown anything at us in a while. They haven't had the time. Yeah. It's just... It's just Mario just killing everybody. At least this will make the chapter a lot faster after the nonsense that we went through with the General White. Yeah. Not oh. having, not having to worry. Oh, what? I forgot. There was a, a passcode in, I think, the lab room. Man. What's the password? Uh, I, I don't know. That's it! There's like a, a scene in Fallout 3. If you have like either low enough intelligence or high enough luck, a robot asking you for a password, uh, well, you could, the protagonist could have the option to yell out ice cream at them, and yeah. then the robot will be like, uh, uh, like, accepted, welcome back, master, or something to that effect. Yeah. Just either dumb luck or dumb stupidity. Notice of new seminar. Topic, galloping toward an era of risk-free potions. Yay. Participation is not voluntary. This was a triumph. Wait, Always wait. do your all-point inspection in the loudest voice possible. I like how the ro- uh, the We're not even acknowledging this dude. I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow. Keep the workspace order. Okay, where's the good stuff? Where's the notes we need? Did you take down all the sticky I'm gonna notes? get you! <laughs> He's just like... You're not worth our time. Yeah. Where the fuck are the... Is it in the crane room? No, we were in here. Is it in one of the... Is it in the dressing room? Is it in here? I don't see any notes. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Do you know anything? No? Nothing, huh? Alright, sorry to bother you. This is kind of, uh... Well, we didn't foresee this coming. I need another elevator key. Oh boy, multiples. Oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah, you see? There you go. 1429. What's this? Left, right. Okay, I, I got that by random chance. Oh, you would have gotten that eventually, but yeah. not the other one, 1429. Fourteen twenty-nine. 
29, 14. What? what? That was the other way around? No. 14, 14. I'm just messing with ya. We'll now go to Substation 3 and then... Spell it, but okay. Aw, oh, I tried. What if it said, Password accepted. Welcome back, Master. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Yeah, that's a nice secure password, just a bunch of random numbers. You! Oh no. Cyber Thwomp. I feel like I've seen that face somewhere before. They kidnapped him. Who are you? You came here so to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room. Well, you're gonna have to beat me. I'll find. So, if we lose, does he send people to kill us? Yeah. Can we I'm... just kill them? Yeah. Okay. The 66th annual quirk. Oh, I hope it's 80 guys. They'll be in for a fucking surprise if they come to take us out. Exactly. What's in here? A monkey! A monkey! Oh, he gave us a chance to back out. How nice of him, little monkey fella. You're dumber than dumb. The next one. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg waiting for Coop's return? Uh, Flavio. Flavio. Mario, what's wrong with you? I want to fight him! I have a plan. Keep it quiet, Coops. It's for the greater good. Here we go. Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet total? Uh, 57! D feet! <laughs> with me, yes. I like how every every option has a joke answer. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Fight. You have no chance. I've got two of these things. Are you serious? We went from three anti-guys to this. <laughs> God. The anti-guys were, were surprised. This is... All right, what's next? Oh, that was it? That was the only round? That was boring! You beat my cute little underlings. In one punch! <laughs> <laughs> Yay, now we can go. Stupid idiot. What could they have in this game? That They don't have anything like anti-guys in this game. No! They could have given us three amazing daisies, I guess. Or, uh, they would have just ran away. I think probably the most powerful regular enemy in the game, aside from Amazing Daisies, is uh, Elite Wizards. Those suck. <laughs> what do we get? We got the elevator key. Okay. As a result, three antsy guys. <laughs> it's like. It's like we were we were taking him seriously, and then suddenly the AT guys came out. And we're like, okay, now you've got my attention. That was a threat. Yeah. Yeah, that was like that. Even for us, if we were any less players, those that would have fucked us. <laughs> and I don't claim to have done that fight well. I was not good in that fight. I was. <laughs> that was. I should have been angry that fight. I'm looking at the. I'm going through the highlight. And that was some of the angriest I remember you being in a single player game. Well, I was. To be fair, I wasn't angry at you. I was just angry at the situation. No, you were angry at me. Oh, was I? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Because I, like, charged a bunch with Goombario and then whiffed a multi bunk. Yeah. That, that would kind of make me angry because it's just like, you know, instead of going for the shirt thing with the fucking. Wait till you slow and steady. Oh, 
fucking hell. Look at- oh, damn it! It's gonna go backwards now. Are you shitting me? What a bullshit design is this? At least you got like two seconds to uh, to make the right move. Yeah, nice and slow. Wish it could be longer though. Oh, you son of a bitch! Huzzah! Yay! Now what was in that fucking box? HP drain. No thanks. I said we don't want it! I SAID WE DON'T WANT IT! Fuck! How do you think people would react if we did a Neopets stream? What the fuck is a fucking Neopets? You don't know what Neopets is? No! But you're from the 2000s. Oh, are those those fucking shitty ass toys? No, it was that uh, that virtual pet site, you know, the most popular one. <laughs> Not anymore. I've, I've never heard of it. Yeah, it was like what other you know, like virtual I've pet sites of... have you heard of? I've heard of Habbo Hotel. I remember what that. The fuck is Habbo Hotel? <laughs> no, everyone was on Neopets. <laughs> Not me. I, w I would say you I was on 4chan at the time. I would say you missed out, but I'm not a liar. <laughs> I missed out. It's like that, and then there was a uh, Gaia Online. That was basically just a forum, wasn't it? That wasn't actually was like, a game. It was a forum with like uh, you could, like avatars that you can customize. Yeah, customize your avatars. That was the only thing. I thought for the longest time. Oh, what what are you doing in here? Oh, uh... Just hanging out? In the bathroom? Pervert! That's 10 HP dealt 50 damage to it. Mulched. Nice, uh, peach music. Can I go in this toilet? Dude, dude, dude. At least they acknowledge one exists. Yeah. I could go in the toilet in the glitz pit. I guess this one doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I want to ask what Goombella has to say. Wonder what this room's for. There are beds and lockers, but we can't nap here. Why not? Kind of smells nice in here. Why do you think that is? <laughs> what is this? Shower. I guess every evil guy base in his ultimate doom needs a bathroom. Can we use the bath? No, uh, you think Mario would eat with like a shower. No? Okay. Hey, Gumbella, you should get in the shower. <laughs> so take, a, take a time for yourself. The door is locked. Oh, you can't go in there. No, that's just scummy Mario. More, it, that'd be a more of Waluigi thing. Yeah, get scumbag, in the shower. Scumbag Mario. I promise not to look. Too much. Okay, I'm missing... I need three card keys, and I don't know where they're at. Oh, no. Uh, maybe it was in the locker in Peach's room? No. You sure about that? Yes. Okay. God, this place is huge. What place? Where haven't we been? I don't know. So much... No, we've been here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that room that we're going to just to confirm what it wants us to have. All Maybe right. we already have the things. Maybe I just wasn't thinking. Yeah, I, I, you kind of just moved there really quickly, and I'm like, wait, what? Well, I, we've been collecting shit, but I haven't been paying attention to what we've been collecting. Of course, you haven't. Yeah, we yeah, have we them. have them. You're worrying about nothing, bro. Red, yellow, green. But no purple. Everybody forgets the purple. 
Waluigi is just a character who happened to wipe himself from everybody's memories and become and became the ultimate spy master as a result. Waluigi is the only one who's not part of RGB. Well, no, yellow's not either. It's a different color wheel. Nobody's a part of blue. Yeah, there's no blue Mario, brother. Mario's father, uh, Antonio. Yeah, sure, Antonio, the blue Mario brother. No, he's the Mario father. Yeah. Super Mario fathers. It's him and Maria, the pink one. Maria! Yeah! <laughs> if there were a female, like, a Mario sister or something named Maria, that would be like a Sonic to your name. Really? You know that, uh, you know Sonic had siblings in Sonic Underground, right? Oh yeah, he's got his sister, Sonia, and- Sonia and Manic. Manic? Yeah. Manic?! Yeah, they were just- They t the- the- Son and the Nick. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, sure. Maybe. Double pain! <laughs> uh, I don't know. Ha happy flower? No. Wait, what? What'd you get rid of? I got rid of the happy hearts and flavor just putting on HP drain. Okay, that would work. Uh, then... Oh, hey! We do have it. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, we all... Hey, simplifier! <laughs> We could. You get less star power, but we never use star power. Yeah. You know what? I'll have this on just in case. No reason not to with this many badge points. Sure. Also, this room is fucking massive. I like how he move away as if he's gonna hurt you. Well, I just get a jump start at moving towards the conveyor belt. Sure. Oh, can't get up there. Oh. Wait, wait, damn it. Piece of beef. Good one. Great. Oh, I thought we were actually stuck for a second. No, platforms, when they're lowering on you, they stop before they crush you. Yeah, the safety feature so the X knots don't get. Sorry, cross knots! Oh, is that what they're called? I don't even fucking know anymore. Nobody knows. Oh, hey, Vivian, you're looking kinda tall and skinny there. Uh, Vivian. You've been losing weight? Vivian. We should have Vivian out more to watch her a weird physics. Yeah. Going for the mushroom? Yeah, why not? Lots of booze sheets. I guess you could get rid of. Ah. Oh, there's a ground. Yeah, they're gonna kill you here. Damn it. You know, you can move to the right. I know, I just wanna see if there's like a star piece or something. What's over here? Just gonna get us pipe. nothing. Oh, there's another pipe. I thought, maybe not, I, I no. saw things. Oh, you mean that pipe? Nah, I thought there was one in the background, I missed saw. Yay, yeah, now you gotta restart it. Do you think Vivian can have sex? Like, she's just an ethereal shadow being, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think ethereal shadow being beings have, like, the need to reproduce. But do they have the ability? What about booze, for that matter? You know... These are the questions, man. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe? Okay, damn it. Kids shadow beings that... I'd like to introduce my uh, half ghost son. 
Ichigo. Danny Phantom. Alright, I guess it can work. Although, no, Danny Phantom wasn't like... His dad fucked a ghost. It no, was, no, they're both they're both his parents are fully human. It was uh, like a science chamber that converted him into a ghost. Yeah, he he, he sometimes has white hair because of like Danny Phantom is like a secret shonen series. Is it? Because it's like Naruto is all is all about like what if there were a bunch of ninjas and they fought. One Piece is what if there were a bunch of pirates and they fought. Danny Phantom is what if there were a bunch of ghosts and they fought. No, you're th you're talking about Bleach. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> What if, were, what if there were a bunch of Shinigami and they fought, I guess? Whereas Death Note is, what if there were a bunch of detectives and they fought? Okay, where's this? Apparently at some point in the Death Note universe, there was a, a great detective war. Okay, where does this come from? Like, backstory stuff? As per, like, a manga? Uh, a side story written by the author. Okay. Like, like, uh, Elle's backstory was that there was a great detective war of some kind. Which okay. is almost as interesting as the franchise wars. Yeah. So Elle won the great detective war? I guess so. Or the, only the Whammy around. House organization or whatever. Which kind of makes you wonder how the fuck they just try to get each other arrested? I, I guess. It's like, it's like everybody's secret identity and if you uncover somebody's secret identity... You have the ability to try and kill them. I think the guy from uh, Phoenix Wright attempted to join the detective war and just was knocked out pretty early. Gumshoe, I think, was his name. Oh, yeah, him. You know what I realized is that if there are any series, or at least a series that would make a good live-action adaptation of a game series, it would be Phoenix Wright. Yeah. I can see a, I can see a live-action lawyer show it, about Phoenix Wright. We have that! It's called Law and Order! Well, it's, Phoenix Wright is more zany than Law and Order. Yeah, I guess so. It, it does have... You'd, have... you'd have the zany plots and the... Like, the vague Japanese Shintoism. Even though it takes the place in America. The vague Japanese Shinto... Um, ja <laughs> it's an alternate universe where Shinto is, like, Christianity. It's Japanese America. Instead That's of... Instead the, of... That's what the translators have said. It's Phoenix Wright takes place in a universe. Where Japan took, like, established the United States. Nice! Oh, I, 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 Koki Haas tried to do that too! The United States of Japan! It'll start in this room! Meanwhile, <laughs> Trump hates waiting. Crump! You've been waiting for us? I used the Crystal Star to lure you here. Not like I was waiting and hiding. Peachy isn't even here anymore. We're gonna use. Vivian's lines are kind of generic. Yeah. Magnus von Grapple 2.0. Like the other boss, but stronger. Yeah. Not like we're gonna knock this out in one hit. Paper Mario... I realized this game does that a couple times, but... I don't remember Paper Mario 1 ever doing that. The same boss, but stronger. I guess... Yeah, you don't remember. Okay. I, I honestly don't remember. No! The, blo uh, the bloopers and the master. And, uh... And, uh, the, the mid-boss. Oh, Junior Troopa, right. Yeah. Well, that was a mid-boss, though. That's yeah. like fighting the Shadow Sire. Oh, uh, you should probably game. Goombella, uh, check. Yeah, get its tattle before we utterly rip it to shreds. Magnus on grapple. 76-2. 70. Oh, it could actually survive a hit from us. Better multi bounce it. Yeah. It's much stronger, even though the design's a little ridiculous. All right. Spring jump. Power bounce. Yeah. I don't think spring jump would be enough stronger. Yeah. Oh, I fucked it 40 up. Forty damage. I would have needed four of them. Yeah. Here it comes, suckers. He's not threatened at all. Well, I just took fifty points of. <laughs> you missed! Well, I gave you a chance, but... You got one hit on Goombella, that was kind of cool. What Lord. the fuck?! How did you gain this much power?! A hundred push-ups! A hundred sit-ups! 
10 kilometers running, and no air conditioning every single day. <laughs> Eat your vitamins and say your prayers. That was not quick for reasons. Hour 50 minutes. Now we can open the door, but somehow the villains will be there first. Oh, I don't get to explore the room. It'd be a dick move if I came back if I had to come back here later for a star piece or something. Yeah. And now we can use Supernova! The strongest star move in the game! What does it do? Uh it does a maximum of 15 damage to all enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I have now surpassed the gods in power. Yeah. Remember the left? You know what would be? Well, no. We're dealing gonna... levels of damage that would be on par with a regular JRPG. I was gonna say, it'd be interesting to see God Goombario from the previous game versus our new Danger Mario God. <laughs> but God Goombario takes a while to get started, so. Yeah. That that ramp that ramp that has, takes a while to like ramp up. Whereas Danger Mario is he's got all that power. Instant pain. Oh no! Oh no! This oh, you, you, poor you don't bastards. understand. This is a nice neighborhood. <laughs> Why the fuck are you here? About time something worked out for old Bowser. Oh, I might as well explore the neighborhood. Hey. I'd like to mount a large animal horn in my foyer to highlight my social status. Uh, uh, okay, what do you think about me, huh? Look at how huge I am. I, my mind was already going into the gutter when she said mount a large animal. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, you great thing? Uh, what? Get away from me, psycho! Oh, I, I thought you just... Oh, I can't jump. Just jump in the pipe. Ah! Oh, she, she maintains the scary animation. Oh. Fucking penguin. Oh, hello! <laughs> hello there, guy. Falsely Heights is nice on a warm afternoon, eh? What's that? that? You're a great and evil king, are you? Really? Yeah. yeah. You know, guy, I think maybe you got a little too much sun, eh? <laughs> Hey, sorry. I hope he blows up. Please. No. no. You're uh, big, mister! What's, what's your, your name? Big Evil King Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. This is fan of legend and Koofa <laughs> I'll leave it up to you. Oh god. Oh, you can't make me choose like that, bro! Which one? Uh I am Evil King Extraordinaire. What would Bowser say? He'd say he's an evil king. Oh, uh, you wanna do the boring one? Okay, well, let's do- okay. <laughs> Get Bowser incognito! I, I wanna do businessman. Sure. I'm Kuroshi. Bwah! I, I am Bowser, businessman of legend! Fear, fear my accounting! accounting. <laughs> it's... Like, business trips, bribes, and- Brown noses, oh my! Tough life, huh? Are you in charge of the coffee maker, or what? Oh, I get multiple answers. Uh, I am evil King Bowser! You oh, don't know! Oh, oh, I ruined it. I should have done that one last. <laughs> you fool. Now we'll never know about, like, why Bowser would say he's Koopa Koop. The fountain's so elegant. <laughs> They're not even paying attention to him. And yet the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill gotten coins. Uh. Whoa. Oh. Uh. You people scare me. Rick, the rich scares Bowser. He's the kind of king in which- Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, was that always there? Did we, just... <laughs> Did we just never go to that part of the map? He failed a spot check. Alright, I guess we go into the fucking uh, museum. Oh, it's- It's locked! The lock broke. Oh. Talk about lucky! Rage really pays! No, Bowser doesn't. Oh, he's gonna grab the fake one! <laughs> wow, why is this window broken? Oh, well, not my business. They're gonna pan over the window and it's gonna be patched. <laughs> hey, he's gonna break. Is he gonna. 
えっ、ー、You're that! You are common thieves, aren't you? Very common. I'm the remorseless king of evil, a shadow thief, or Koopa Koo. <laughs> Fuck! I, I guess we can. My name is Koopa Koo! We missed our chance last time! Yeah. I am the great Koopa Koot! I'm taking this! Mess with me and I'll bore you to death! <laughs> I see. Fortunate for you, that's a red herring. Yeah, it's a fake. If you want it, it's yours. The Maltese is the stuff dreams are made of. The Maltese Falcon. Well, if you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi! Oh no! Oh! Hey Mario, why is this Bowser guy on my tail, eh? You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Wait, it's... It's... Just random Goomba. Ah! Paragoomba! I have a name! <laughs> Steve? So, ma'am. Sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven stars and is headed for the thousand year door. Oh, hey, we'll be able to beat him there. That seems like a very easy informant to knock out of the sky. Well, Mario's actively avoiding fighting, so. That's true. G Mar Goombas are no longer worth Mario's time, so they're the safest escorts for information. <laughs> yeah. Safe. Luigi, well done, lad. Way to not fail. Meanwhile, the Shadow Sirens are, like, watching Bowser do this, and then the x Knots are watching her, watching him. <laughs> this guy's funny. <laughs> That's challenged when it defaulted to that. <laughs> villains watching villains. <laughs> the heroes watching villains, watching the heroes. Watching other villains, watching the villains. We still don't know where Peach is. There's only one place she could be. Let's head, head back to Rogueport. What if we didn't find that one room with the teleporter? <laughs> and then you'd be wondering, wait, how the fuck are we supposed to get back down? We didn't plan this through. Sin. This is Mario writing signs on the moon, telling people to send him booze and shit. I think the teleporter room is actually locked. Or the teleporter is not working right now. Oh, really? And it's gonna tell us we have to come down here. That's convenient. Where are we? You are in... the Ropa. Let me sing a song for you! Daisy, Daisy. You are Mario. It is pleasant to meet you. Wah! I am computer tech. I spied on Peach while she took a shower. I have the footage if you want it. Yes, Val. Yes, Hal. I would love it. My it's data just... was. Oh God! It's mystery. Like, oh, sorry. Uh, space. Two thousand one. A space Odyssey would be so much funnier if Hal, instead of singing Daisy, just played porn. <laughs> would you like to be stimulated? Yes, Hal. I would love it. This plays a, a like the audio from a Pornhub video. <laughs> As he's ripping out machinery. Yeah. And it slowly gets more fucked up and corrupted as he does so. And it starts getting just like weird just... ass fetish shit. Oh, okay. I, I was thinking like like data corruption. Like it suddenly sounds like deep voiced and satanic. Oh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> like that Oh, match... scissor me, Xerxes. <laughs> <laughs> In the palace the of kids, Santa. I have something to tell you. I'm gay. Again? It just, it goes from porn to like reruns of Leave it to Beaver or something. <laughs> Why do we store all this 50s entertainment on, and porn on this ship? It's I weird. like this show. There's barely enough power left to no, you see what teleporter. You, you see what you do is you play Leave It to Beaver in the left eye and Pornhub on the right eye. Yeah. That's it's fucking Alfred Hitchcock presents. 
Uh, no, that was a, you're thinking a different. No, thing. leave it here. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah. This is very similar. Don't worry, I'm just a computer. I'm. I will send all power to the teleporter and kill myself for you to go back to Earth. Except he survives this. <laughs> <laughs> so dramatic. We we understand tech. Hurry to the teleporter room. I will destroy this moon base. I realize that every time I play this game, I keep Goombella out all the time. I mean, we need to. Yeah. She's got a she's got a good personality. She's probably the most well written of the gang. Should play this with other characters just to see what they have to say about various cutscenes, though. <laughs> Scottish. Like, the bomb mom captain. I say, I've been there before, lad. Cheerio, dying for your love and all that. Shadow Siren is just like, what have I done? I'm a monster. And then, uh, and then, uh, Gonzalez is like, yeah, we gotta save the princess. And then Flurry's like, how dramatic. This guy's like, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was swiping everything that wasn't nailed down. Do you think that Yoshi's name has a built-in sensor? Like, you can't name him Fuck or Fuckboy. <laughs> fuck B O I. This was made before that, before Fuckboy became a thing, though. Yeah. So they wouldn't have detected it. Well, they would have detected Fuck. Yeah. Peach. Goodbye. I thought. Survives this! I thought you just, like, you were gonna use all the power to teleport, and you didn't have any power left, and that was just gonna, like, shut off your RAM. You didn't say anything about the base exploding. Seems like that would take a lot of power. You know what, though? The explosion was silent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes, that makes Did sense. I hear something just now? No. You didn't. It doesn't work. <laughs> God, that is, that is dark. What the, the? The music's gone. It's been replaced by sounds of wildlife. I think that's just outside. Oh, is it? God damn it! Yeah, it's, it's spring has sprung, Jack. <laughs> I'm screaming. You were just on the phone. You just heard wildlife. You're like, I must be going crazy. Hey, frankly, we just want to complete the game. No. Okay. That that's a long stretch, the shell shadow temple and everything. I guess so. She was there, but she wasn't, and then the base exploded. I smelled some rank ad went to the thousand year door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door. How? No way! The doorway shouldn't open though! I'm quite I saw it! it! With my own eyes! Sure, my prescription has run out, and my glasses are foggy, and I'm 90 years old, but I saw it! We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. You must come immediately! Give him that voice. I feel like if he, if he dies, his last words will be Mozart for some reason. Yeah? Okay, what do you mean? You sound like Dazzle. Wolfgang Amadeus. I, I guess? Or sorry. Uh, did Amadeus, did Wolfgang sound like it, like an angry German dude? Or rather Amadeus, I don't know what his name was. Uh, Wolfgang Mozart. Wolfgang Amadeus I, Mozart. Oh, yeah. Who was it, who was it that said, who was who it that had the last word of Mozart? Who was Mo, uh, Mozart's rival? Ah. Uh, I don't think they were really rivals. The, the Amadeus movie painted his brother as a rival. Uh. Mozart. Okay, we got another flower saver. They can, if you ever got more points, they could be something we potentially use. Yeah, another flower saver. Save so much flowers. Every, uh, every, uh, move will be one FP. Yeah. Alright. I think that's good. That's good. We got through the... We... <laughs> The, the rest of this game is going to be really easy from now on. We I, just hit something once and then they die. I anticipated this actually being really long with the whole, like, general white bullshit. But we're only just over two hours. This yeah. is probably our, one of our shortest Paper Mario 2 streams. Funny how having infinite power tends to speed things along. Yeah, when you can just one-punch everything. Yeah, one hammer, man. Okay, so I, between gonna... streams I might 
do a little clear, like, house cleaning of, like, picking up badges and stuff to... Make him even more powerful. Or 30 just... Da 30 damage per hit. Fill stuff out. You know. Hey, work towards completion a little bit. All we'll right. see, though. All right. Well, we'll, we'll next... come back, and next time we'll do the, the Temple of Shadow or whatever the hell it is. The temple of sh The Shadow Temple. That's good luck. Bring the lens of truth. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. See you at the Shadow Temple. See you next time.